No, this is dead. Predicting an earthquake. We're doing a stomp test. I stomp on the ground. The instrument detects the ass shaking. Charlie! Rise and shine! Oh. Oh. Mr. Grimes, there is a bacon sarnie with your name written all over it. Good morning would have been nice. Well, it's half past one, ma'am. I've already put the casserole on. Mm. Alexa, play BBC Radio 1. BBC Radio oh, 1. Why have you done that? It's the news. You know, it's good to keep up to date, especially if you're living like a hermit. I'm not living like a hermit. Oh, really? But first, let's talk about the what recent epidemic in Wuhan. I know some oh. people are confused and many have oh. questions. And in this time of life, anything can happen, especially after those nasty fires. Charlie. We're wishing all the best to any British holiday makers trying to get home. And here's a song requested by Joan Milton for her husband, who's currently overseas in Wuhan. She wants him to know she misses him very much. <laughs> Got the kitchen sink? Shut up. I'm gonna be gone three weeks. Maybe even longer. I thought I was the pessimist in this flat. It's gonna be a couple weeks max. Listen, man. How about you come with me? I've got plenty of space in the van. There's no point. Like I said, it's gonna be a couple of weeks max. We've probably already got the vaccine. And besides, I'm gonna get tons of work done. Especially without seeing your ugly mug all the time. <laughs> Look, man, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be good. All right, man. But why don't you miss your family? I mean, I'm sure they'll miss you. Your mum or Emily. I'm sure she'd want to see her big time musical genius brother. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm gonna miss them too. But I know that if I, if I go home, I'm not gonna get anything done and and she'll never see her big time musical genius brother because he won't exist. I understand. Just, just take care of yourself. Don't be dead when I get back. I yeah, I hear can't you. Believe it. Now go on. The Uber driver isn't gonna wait forever for your sorry ass. How come I did see it? Take care, yeah? Thank you, man. Now you make it hard to breathe. It's funny how hard it can turn into something Couldn't predict it that you were the person Cause when you speak the room goes quiet I'm staring so fixated by the look in your eyes And I'm not, I, I'm falling apart Hello? Charlie? Hi Nan. Charlie, how are you my love? Yeah Nan, I'm, I'm just, I'm just really busy. Um, I'll call you at some point, yeah? Oh, well, I'm always free. Just, just give me a call when you got a minute. Yeah, will do. Okay, my dear. Well, I don't mean to be a nuisance, I'm sorry. Take care. I love you, Charlie. Yeah, love you too. Bye.
Mum. Charlie, how are you? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just, uh, got a bit of a headache. What's the matter? Charlie, you remember the other day when we talked about Nana and how she was doing? Yeah, what about it? Oh, Charlie! Whoa, 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 Mum, just, just calm down. What's happened? Where, where, where's Emily? She's with your father. She went there last night. We tried to call you. Yeah, I was, I was kind of busy. Um, what's happened? I should have been there. Couldn't have known, sweetheart. It happened so fast. We didn't even know she was sick. Well, wasn't it obvious? Hmm? Wasn't it obvious? She was coughing all the time. There's a virus going round, wasn't it? It's okay to be upset. Upset? Upset? I'm angry! Should have been there. Charlie? Matty. Matty, I, I, did, I didn't know. I, I could, no one could have known. <laughs> It's not your fault. There's nothing you could have done. I couldn't even go to the funeral. I didn't I didn't get to see her one last time and I didn't get to say goodbye. But Mum and Emily went. Said it was beautiful. Said it would have made a laugh. I got the program in the post. And it was so surreal. I didn't believe it until I got that program. <sighs> you know, in those last few days, Mum said that she would speak about me, ask about me, you know, how I was, where I've been, but mainly she'd ask about my singing, my work, the thing that I was so fixed on I didn't make any time for her or any of them. She'd ask, 
When is my famous grandson going to be on the radio? And it got me thinking. How many nights do you reckon she sat out waiting to hear me? How many nights do you reckon I let her down? I tried to make it worth it. I tried to get stuff done. I tried to focus on my work, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. I had no passion. I didn't do anything. Why? Why? Because I was mourning. Because I still am. You know, it wasn't a good time to do anything. It's never a good time to do anything. Hey. Yeah, we've all been there, mate. We've all lost friends, family, lovers and loved ones, but that doesn't mean you lose faith. That doesn't mean you lose yourself. I don't know, I must have felt like that, especially being all alone. I know, I would have gone mad, but despite what you think, you didn't. Yes, your nan's gone and it's painful. It bloody hurts. There's not anything more painful than that. But think about it. you right now are a steaming, bubbling pot full of all kinds of crap. I mean, you are so much emotion, you're basically glowing. And every great artist, right? They've gone through stuff like this. Or that Dutch fella with the one ear, that, that woman you always bang on about. Cindy, Sil Sylvia Plath, right? Look, point is, everyone's got a dark side. Everyone is full of crap. But what's important is how you channel it and make something brilliant. And you may say, oh, you know what? Now is not a good time to do the thing that I'm good at. But let me tell you something, man. There is no good time to do anything. So just... Go for it, do it, while it's still fresh, while it still means something. But what if I can't get back to where I was? You know, I was this close. I was this close to getting somewhere. Good. Don't go back. I mean, you've been through so much. You want people to know how it felt, how it still feels, show them. Show them. Massive, isn't it? I can't remember the last time I was here. And there it is. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, now I'm my way in. Are you already in there? Yeah, I'm now coming. Don't worry. <laughs> Go find your seat. <laughs> you know, backstage is only reserved for important people. Okay, mate. Right. See you later. 